It is ridiculously important to me that women stand in front of their brand and their business and basically go out and show the world who they are and their amazing talents. I've got an incredible fashion show for you. Thank you so much for coming. part video series um, basically as you can probably see I am number one in the sunshine which means I am in LA I'm holding my first event for female fashion creatives fashion designers and fashion female entrepreneurs so I decided that this week's video is going to be a three-part video series on basically how to launch an event in LA for your fashion business now I am going to give you tips, I'm going to give you my experience, I'm going to give you the struggles I've encountered, the highs I've encountered and the lows. So I do hope you love this week's video. If you do, I would love you and appreciate it if you could give me a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because this is what it's about. This channel is all about helping you to become a badass in your business, to create that fashion empire that you want and to be that influence as a fashion designer and create magic in this world. So I do hope you really enjoy this week's video. As I said, it's gonna be a three-part video series. Um, the next video will be actually at my event. So you'll be able to get all the juicy insights of what goes on at the event. And then the third video will be um, the afterthoughts, after the event. So let's get stuck in. Hi everyone, my name is Caroline Matthews and I am a multi-award winning fashion designer. I am also the founder of The Lux Collective, which is a platform to educate, inspire and motivate female fashion designers and entrepreneurs to go out there and be that influence that they want to be and create that fashion empire that they have dreamed of, probably pretty much since they were four or five, exactly like me. This channel is all about giving you the lowdown and what it takes to do that. You know, I want to share with you my struggles, my experience, so you can go out there and create this and hopefully get a much smoother path than what I did. So I do hope you enjoy this because this, this video series is really coming from the heart for me. Um, and, you know, I want to be really, really transparent with you guys and not give you all the sugar-coated version of putting on an event in a different country. I want to really, really give you the you know the deep down and dirty really on this because I think it's important to to show you exactly what happens and that for me gives hopefully will give you the inspiration to go out there and you know host your own event and go out there and not worry and panic about doing it but go out there and really kind of create something that you can be you know, grateful for, that you can be excited about and something you can be proud of. So I want to start this video off with, this was a dream of mine. Um, I came to LA uh, last September to help my most beautiful business bestie, 
Um, she has a business called Femijan, which is an amazing app. I will put the links to that below. Um, to launch, to do a pre-launch for her business. And uh, we were both having a glass of wine after her event. And I was like, I want to do an event here. I want to do an event. So I went back to England and I was like, right, I'm going to do an event next year. And I'm not going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring female, female fashion designers on board. I'm going to bring influence, influencers on board. I'm going to bring, um, you know, amazing women together. I'm going to offer them like all this stuff. And I basically started to map it out what it was that I really wanted to get for this event. Now, the key thing here, guys, is to really think about your event on the feeling that you want to give somebody when they leave your event. I have been to so many, so many events where I've just been like, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. Or, you know, I've received like the goodie bag or the swag bag and I've just been like, oh yeah, it's okay. You know, but for me, I really wanted people to leave with an amazing experience. I wanted people to leave with connections to other high vibe women. I wanted them to leave with amazing products that when they're lying in the bath, lighting one of my candles, they're reminded of the amazing experience they had at the Lux Creative, which was our event. So with all this in mind, I started to reach out to, you know, to female entrepreneurs that I knew and that I knew were a good fit for what I wanted to create because, you know, you can, you can get all this shiny object syndrome and magpie syndrome and be like, right, okay, I'm going to go for the most biggest influencer there is out there, you know, the biggest fashion blogger. And, you know, sometimes when you're, you know, when you're starting your journey, those, those big influencers and those big um, fashion bloggers and all that kind of stuff, they don't always necessarily want to work with you because, you know, you might not have a big following. They might not have heard your brand. So start with people that, you know, you actually admire and who you think will be a really, really good fit. And I did this. I just like put myself out there, man. I said, look, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'd love. And this is how I think w this event would benefit you. And, and I, I just kind of hustled really. And, you know, before long, I had six influential female speakers on board. Um, and I had, that was all I had. And, oh, and I had an idea of what I wanted in the goodie bags. Um, and I was starting to document this in my Facebook group. And if I, I mean, I look at it today, I am three days before my event. And if I am truthfully, truthfully honest with you guys, I flew out to LA um, last Tuesday with very, very little spare cash. I had um, pretty much self-funded this event. Um, I was waiting for a lot of kind of ticket sales to kind of fin finalize coming through. Um, and so a lot of the stuff that I had done to promote the event had come out of my own pocket. And I was nervous. I was nervous because um, I had... I had done all of these collaborations with the most amazing women and I just felt really lost. I was shitting myself, basically thinking, oh my God, nobody's going to turn up and I'm going to disappoint everybody and I'm going to let people down and what, my God, what if they hate it? Um, when I got on the plane last week, I was kind of sat there going, oh God, please universe, please let this work out for me. And it wasn't from a monetary perspective neither. What I wanted was to, I just want, as I said, I wanted women to go home and feel absolutely freaking amazing. I wanted them to go away going, oh my God, I've made the most amazing connections. Oh my God, look at these amazing designers that I would not necessarily have known about, you know, interacted with, supported. And I was, I was so focused on this. And I just knew in my heart of hearts that everything was going to work out. Um, and... I'm not saying this is necessarily the way forward, but I am a very impulsive woman and a very impulsive designer. If something feels good to me, if somebody, if I connect with somebody, I, I want to know more about them. I want them to be involved in whatever it is that I'm doing. I want to be involved in what they're doing and really kind of help them and support them. And I was, I felt very alone in the beginning of this journey, even though I had the most amazing, beautiful women who have really helped me out here. I had a horse committee. And when I say horse committee now, this was, this was a bunch of women who um, really believed in what I was doing. And the idea was, was that I, I gave them a free ticket to attend. And in return, they helped me to promote the event through social media, through Instagram, because I couldn't do it on my own. Um, so I had this amazing committee and I have 
amazing business besties over here. But it's come from me putting myself out there. Like it hasn't come from, you know, putting myself in different circles. It's come from me going, look, this is who I am. This is why I'm a great designer. This is what I wanted to do. This is my passion. This is my vision. And this is the same for you. You've got to sell yourself. You've got to sell people into the dream of your event. Because what we want to do, especially when you're looking to collaborate with somebody and you may have not done anything with them in the past, the likelihood is, is that they're probably going to turn around and go, well, why should I collaborate with you? You know, why should I collaborate with you? I don't know you. I've never done anything with you. You know, why should I do this free of charge for you? So what you're wanting to do is to build that rapport, build that relationship, you know, check out their business, check out their Instagram and support them too before you start going and approaching people. Um, and that, that is what I did. You know, I built these relationships up over like six and seven months uh, and I just put trust and faith that this was going to this was going to work out. And as of today, as of this morning, I did not have a venue because I had two venues that cancelled on me because they decided they wanted to have renovations. Um, I had people not wanting to buy tickets until they knew the actual venue. Um, so I was really putting on my uh, Lux Collective designer face and doing I was basically doing poker face. I was telling everybody that the venue was sorted, so everybody should be going and buying tickets. And when really I didn't have a venue sorted, and I'm being transparent with you here because this was the reality of it, I didn't have it. But I pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. And then as of this morning, I secured a venue, a venue that I just love. It's gonna be amazing. It's an art gallery, um, which I found on Peerspace. I managed to get a really, really good deal with them as well. Um, I managed to get, I hustled to get the uh, cleaning fee taken off because I said I would clean the venue myself to save even more money. And this is what it's about, guys. If you want to create your event in LA, if you want to do it on a budget, if you want to get your name out there, this is what you have to do. You have to hustle. You have to want to mop the floors. You have to want to take out the trash afterwards. You have to want to this so badly that you are on Instagram stories promoting it. You are in your mailing list promoting it. You are like collaborating and connecting with as many women as you possibly can to make your dream happen because it is not going to happen on your own. And for all the, all the amazing, you know, dreams that you have around your event, you've got to be able to let some of that bullshit go and let some of that ego go and really collaborate with other women and sell them into your dreams, sell them into your event. And that is really what I've done. And this is why I'm standing here right now, because like last Tuesday, I had, I did not have a flight to come to LA. I did not have a flight to come to LA. I was walking my dog going, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? How am I going to get this flight? And, you know, time was going on and on and on and on and on. And it was like, I've got to do this. I've, got, I've just got to take this leap of faith and book the flight and know that everything is going to be all right. Because up until that point, I was pretty much going to cancel the event because everybody was, you know, taking ages to pay. And I was just like, oh, my God, this is going to be a nightmare. This is not going to happen. Nobody's going to come. So, so I took the plunge. I booked the flight on the Tuesday. I was on the flight by Wednesday, the following day, with my fashion collection. And I was on the plane to LA. 10 hours later, because this was the cheapest flight, I arrived in LA, 10 hours nonstop. And I came down to my friends in beautiful Temecula, which is where I am now. Um, and yeah, I'm three days before the event. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm apprehensive. But most of all, I absolutely know 100% it's going to be badass. I know it is. And I just wanted to come on here to really just share my experiences with you and share my ups and downs with you because, you know, my channel is about giving you the raw authenticness too. I don't want to like come on here and be telling you you can only do an event if you've got like $10,000 in the bank because it's bullshit. You can do this on a budget. You can do your first event on a budget by hustling, by connecting, by collaborating, by putting yourself out there and getting, letting your ego get out of the way and suck it up. Suck it up. Even if you have to mop the floors like I have to do on Saturday, it's fine. It's all good. Um, so yeah, this is my first video. I do hope you enjoy it. I do hope you tune into uh, next Tuesday's, Tuesday's video, which is going to be actually, I'm going to be videoing the actual event, a lot of it anyway. So 
I'm really letting you see how the actual event looks and pans out. I'm probably going to be scared shitless, but you know, we live and learn. So I do hope you um, check out next week's video. Please do keep following me. And I thank you so much for all the people who have currently subscribed and who tune into my channel. I really, really, really do appreciate it. I love you all and it's just so amazing that, you know, I can share this journey with you guys and hopefully give you an insight of what it takes to build a fashion empire and all of the shitty stuff that goes in between, not just the amazing glossy stuff, because um, this is the reality, this is the raw deal of it. Um, so yeah, tune in next week and please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And as usual, have a great day, a great evening, wherever you are in the world and always remember to live life, be bold, be unapologetically you, go and create the most amazing business and do not give a hoot to what anybody thinks. Own your power, own your business and go and make magic within the fashion industry. Big love and good vibes.